Yo, it's your boy Trinidad James, man, and shout out to Montrealty, man. Make sure that it, when you see this, that August 13th, 10 Piece Mile either came out or it's coming out. Make sure that you listen to it 1 through 10. Do not go without somebody else. This is Trinidad James telling you to listen from the beginning to the end. Thank you very much. Hips. Kind of weird, or whatever, the kind of student I was back in school, whatever, I was a little, I was cool, I had my viewpoints on certain things, I was cool with, trying to be cool with everybody, you know, I was to myself and trying to be cool with everybody at the same time, so, I gotta say weird, weird kid. Uh, man, I sold everything, man, and when I say everything, I mean everything for the most part, you know what I'm saying, I mean, I remember selling shoes, basketball jerseys, you know what I'm saying, I've cut lawn, Oh, there I worked in um, warehouses, moving companies, JC Penney, you know what I'm saying, Waffle House. I've done whatever, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not about really being broke. It's not one of my things that's in my diaphragm of a man. Nah, man, honestly, by the time, I didn't, I didn't buy anything, man. I always, I don't even get into talking about money or whatever. I'd rather talk about something that's dealing with the kids and whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or something that's gonna help somebody learn something, learn something in life, inspire somebody. Me saying what I bought with my first rap check, that doesn't help a child at all, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather talk about something else. Yeah, I already got some in the works. First, they were, you know, they're in the works, they haven't, I don't talk about stuff until I do it, you know what I'm saying? But it's definitely in the works, or whatever, you know, those foundations and, and kids that are the future, and just things that make sense in life that I want to leave as far as my legacy as Trinidad James and just as the, the type of man period that I wanted to leave even if I was a Trinidad James or whatever is one that leaves a situation for my kids 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 or my cousins kids to have something to do other than the normal ridiculous stuff you know what I'm saying I mean, I'm honest with you, man. I don't read books or whatever. Everything I pretty much learned in life, I learned from some someone else was just listening. I learned from listening in life. Kids should read books. If I was to write a book, it would be that you should read. The name of the book would be You Should Read. In the previous lifetime, I was a king. You know, I mean, um, if I wasn't a king, I was a leader in some type of way, form, or fashion, whether it's a small tribe, you know, in on some other land or whatever, but I was a leader in whatever it was. Uh, my favorite cartoon character would probably have to be Marvin the Martian. And I don't really have a favorite, but I'm gonna say Marvin the Martian because I like his, his colors. His color scheme is cool. Um, coming up as a youngin, I honestly could say that it's either gonna be, my favorite video game will be Madden. Madden, um, yeah, definitely Madden. That's where the, the title of my song, my first album, Don't Be Safe, came from. Madden on GameCube. The person who I'm featured on that song with, that's how I named the song Madden on GameCube because that's how we grew up. How, how I met him was playing Madden on GameCube. Or whatever. Madden is something that means a lot to me. Um, really should I ever know is I'm the only souls I fuck with is my Jordans and my mama. And both girls I ever loved had to call it quits because of the drama. So I stopped searching for love and kept smoking this loud. Because I thought when you this high, you couldn't feel this down. A true definition of a G. Well, what, let's do it like this. What's the definition of a real nigga? You know what I'm saying? The definition of a real nigga to me is somebody who, no matter what, in the line of fire, or in good times and bad times, gonna always stay true to the person that you know me for. So whatever you know me for right now, 10 years from now, you look at an interview, I should be the same person. Maybe with better things happening in my life, hopefully if I'm successful, but I shouldn't lose my morals and my standpoint. I should still be humble, right? I'm definitely mad. If you're a fan of mine, and Don't Be Safe, you listen to you, did me the honor and the privilege of listening to Don't Be Safe, one through 10, and then, Finding your favorite tracks after that, well, Tempe smiles the same way. Treat it the same way. It's a continuing story. Don't be safe was the introduction. Tempe smile is where I'm at in life, or whatever. What I can do, what I've learned, or whatever. It's a progress to me. Better, better sounding beats maybe. But at the end of the day, just an overall step in life for me. It's another level, you know. Definitely, definitely. Um, when the time is right, or whatever you. Um, my fans and my haters and whoever is willing to buy in to Trinidad James, you have an album. 
man, anybody, man, anybody. But at this point in time, man, I'm not gonna lie. I I would like to get in the studio right now with Dre. Like right now, at this, at this very moment, I would like to get in just one hour. All I need is like one hour. Like I work really fast and I get to the point with mine. It's like I don't really bullshit or smoke a hundred blunts and then figure out life. No, like I kind of do what I got to do. And either you fucking with the campaign or you're not or whatever. But I never say things like that. But it's a particular track that I just want to get off my chest. So that's why I'm saying this now. So if somebody sees this, they'll be like, oh, hell, Trinidad want to do this. But you know what I'm saying? So thanks. I don't know, man. Honestly, man, it's just been a lot of fun. I'm trying to think of something like this wild. I don't know. Nothing, nothing has happened that impressed me from me having my first tour. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I already did a tour by myself based off of Don't Be Safe, my first album. So, like, just in general, you know, some, like, all the wild things that happened there, it's basically the same thing or uh, whatever. I will take the time to say this, though, that I've learned a lot and grown a lot as a man or uh, whatever. And I find, you found out a lot, like, I want to say thank you to Wiz for allowing me, thank you to Rocky for allowing me to come on there, you know what I'm saying, and do my thing. B.O.B., Joey Badass, Chevy Woods, Burner, Ty Dollar Sign, Smoke Dizzle. You know, I'm learning from all these guys. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Just because Joey is younger than me, I'm still learning from them too. And it's a learning experience. And that's how, that's what the Under the Influence Tour is all about. It's a group of people coming together and having a good time and wanting to let the people who come to have a good time really have a good time. You know what I'm saying? And that's all the Under the Influence Tour is about, you know? Um, when you say a fetish, explain. Uh, I mean, I just like women, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all the other stuff is, you know, personal things or whatever. I like pretty eyes or whatever. Ha! Huh, something funny, I like pretty teeth. How do you know a female's wife? I can't answer that question. I think I'll probably be married already. But just in general, I mean, it'll probably be based off of her qualities, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not even going to say look for your mother in her because you might not have a good relationship with your mother. But just in general, if she really makes you happy and you know that she does because every man know when a girl has a certain feeling on him, period. Why let it go? Why fuck it up? But every dude is different. If I had my last meal would consist of a double some Trinidad with a chubby to drink, um, pigtail and rice from Trinidad, 10 piece mile from American Deli, all flat slight sauce, shrimp Alfredo, and ribs. That would be my perfect meal. My message to the youth, if there's anything that Trinidad James can tell you, is to basically dream, believe, and turn up. And the meaning of dream, believe, turn up is basically anything that you want to do in life starts off as a dream or an idea. Dream stands for idea. In order for that idea to be anything, to be successful, you got to believe in it. If you don't believe in it, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody believes in you. Your parents have probably told you that. So believe in your ideas, believe in your dreams, and turn up is not to get rowdy or crunk like I usually do on stage, jumping on the stage. Turn up basically means for you just to do it. Nobody questions Nike when they say just do it. You just do it. And that's what turn up means. Don't procrastinate. Don't say, oh, I'll go to college this year or this summer. Go to college now. You have the opportunity to go to college now, go to college now. You have an opportunity to take care of your family, take care of your family now. If college is not for you, then don't waste your time going to college. It doesn't make sense. So, for any kid, for any adult, because adults are kids too mentally sometimes, for anybody who's procrastinating in life, the message that I have for you is to dream, believe, and turn up. You can start from nothing and turn it into something. That's real good shit. Shut up. But I call up and I want everybody to say, dream, believe, turn up. Dream, believe, turn up. Dream, believe, turn up. Thank you much, you know. <laughs> That's not me, bro. Yo, I'm like, yo, what is he talking about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said I was in Nas video. Which video, bro? <laughs> What's the shit nasty? Yeah, yeah. But there's a nigga with doodle braids on the phone. Everybody think it's me.